Today, I will be showing you how to make a wine cork vase and utensil holder. Hey everyone, I'm Ellie, and for our craft today, here are a few things you're gonna need. Um, you're gonna need an old vase, or just one you pick up at the dollar store, or something like that. Um, this is gonna be the base of your vase from those wine corks. You're obviously gonna need a lot of your wine corks, enough to cover the entire outside of the vase, and some hot glue. So, real simple, easy to do. You can do a bunch of different patterns on this. So as you can see here, I had used actually a soup can. Um, I'm making this into a utensil holder, either for pencils or you can use like your kitchen spoons and stuff can go in there. Um, so it's the same concept. I'm making this one a vase, this one the utensil holder, same difference. Um, but bunch of different patterns you can do. You can do it um, circular like this, since I'm using an old soup can. This one's a little bit more rectangular, so I'm gonna do a different pattern on this one. So all you do is, I have a cutting board here, just so we don't ruin the beautiful table, of course, um, with that hot glue. But all I'm gonna do is take my corks, and I'm just going to line it up so that the logo is facing on the outside, it says bone steel on there. And all you're going to do for this, I'm just gonna glue them literally straight up in a row, just like that. All right, so now that I have one of those rows done, I'm just gonna do that on the other three sides. And then we're gonna have those corners kind of sticking out. And so once I have those other three sides done, I'll show you what we're gonna do with those corners. All right, so now that I have my four sides all done with those rows, as you can see, we have some space here in those corners. Now, all we're going to do is take our corks and we're just going to put them right in the corner, just one cork, and line them straight up the side. So you can do this two different ways. Um, so my gap is a little bit bigger. So what I could do is I could put two corks in there. They're not going to be touching the glass when you do that. Um, but it will fill up all of the space. Um, for me, I'm just gonna choose to do one, um, just because this is a clear vase, clear glass. It's not gonna be that big of a deal if you can see the glass in the little cracks, but I'm just gonna do one um, and do a single row all the way up, just like that, stacking them on top of each other. Um, and then this way my corks are getting glued straight to the glass as well, to the base. So, I'm going to do that. And, and it's going to take about three and a half corks for me to get to the top of the vase, or to the top of where my corks stop. So what I'm going to do is just going to cut one of the corks in half so then I have a nice little even top on it. And I'm gonna do all four of those corners and I'll show you the product when I'm done. All right, so now that I have all of the corks glued on, I'm just going to put some flowers that I have here. Obviously, you can use real flowers in yours, but I just have some fake ones laying around here at the winery. And there we go. Got some flowers in our wine cork vase. So like I said, you can make multiple different things with the same concept. So this is a utensil holder, kitchen utensils, pencils, pens, anything like that. Um, just used an old soup can, of course, and glued the corks around in a different way, just like I said before. And then I have a vase here. So 
Obviously, the amount of corks you need is going to be different no matter what the pattern is, um, what vase or can or whatever you are using to glue onto it. Um, but make sure you stop into the winery to come and get your favorite bottles of Von Steel wine or order online from us so you can use your leftover corks to make these crafts too. And keep watching our YouTube channel for more craft ideas just like this one. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.